Hello everyone, welcome to our new website. As you can see, the website is much more visually exciting than our previous website, with many ways to interact with our content. That was our vision, to offer a multitude of ways for people to view, interact with and share ARIO's content. Essentially, everyone is different and we are proud to have a website that recognises this. One of the major aesthetic changes we have made is to implement full drop-down menus. This gives the user an easy and immediate way to view upcoming events, see membership options and learn more about what we do. Also, we now have a strong social media focus. Social media is a very popular way to interact with content and to share it with friends, share it with colleagues. So as you can see, we've got Facebook, Twitter, Flickr, and Vimeo, which hosts uh, the majority of our video content, as well as Eventbrite, because we use Eventbrite for all our bookings. We're trying to create communities with this social media, and we also want to create a community inside the website. So what we've done is, any member now has a user login to the site and can log in and has a profile, just like Facebook. And they can contact other staff, other members, and also reply on events, pages, articles, blogs, whatever it may be. I want to give people a voice in our events and maybe give us feedback on what we can do, what we can do next, things like this. We also wanted to create a personalized touch and we think we can do this simply by having an Our People page. It can be as simple as just putting a, a face to the name that you saw in an email, that you saw on an event break calendar, whatever it may be. So that's what we wanted to see. So for example, my name is Brian Harrell and I'm the IT coordinator. And as you can see, you can see where I came from, what I look like, it just gives a personalized touch. We care about both people who are on the site and we wanna give them a voice. So if you wanna contact me, my contact details are right there. As you can see, the background image changed then. So basically in our vision to create a way for people to engage our content, we created many different ways to showcase it. So as you can see on the left hand side, we've got also in this section with different sections of that. We've also got a little widget below, which will show upcoming events, news and people. And so the background image is the last step of that. It's not only visually appealing, but sometimes you don't know what you're looking for. So you really got to say to yourself, okay, what do I want to search for next? And this background image gives you a link straight away to the event that the picture corresponds to. And we've tried to make this on all top level pages. So when you go to a page, you think, okay, maybe I'm interested in that. One other thing we've done is use an Eventbrite calendar. We've used Eventbrite for our bookings for quite some time now, and it's been a really good service. And we thought about incorporating the calendar in it to make it very easy for you. If you're free on a certain day and maybe you don't want to have a look at the event, you literally just want to book for it, make it very easy. So for example, if I want to book for today, I just go 24th and register now and I'll open that in a new tab. And as you can see, meet the director and right away I can register. So that's how good uh, the system is in terms of streamlining. We want to streamline the way you interact with content. We realized that on the old website, it was very hard to get to different things. Now, there's many different ways of getting to the same thing, and that's what we want. Sometimes people only see a very small proportion of our events, and we wanted to make sure that you have the ability to see the, all of them. If we have a look at the slider on the main page, we can see that it encompasses a lot of different tabs. It not only has horizontal, but vertical slides. What this basically means is that we can keep a lot of content on the main page without you moving to a different page. I myself like to view the entirety of what's going on. So for example, if I go to programs, you can see that I can look at Live 2.0 Salon, Mining the Sun, Mega Pitch Day, all the events we have for the winter program. In conjunction with the launch of the website, uh, I'd like to invite you to our digital art exhibition, which is just over here in art. If we go over here to the awfully wonderful art exhibition, we can see that we can view a totally new exhibition, a digital one at that, with audio guides from different people. We also continue to use YouTube for a lot of our events. 
And the reason being is we recently got an upgraded account and it allows us to upload HD videos to YouTube for you to view straight away. So if I was to do that, I can go, let's go the winner of the 2010 PsyQ competition. Let's do, uh, open that in the new tab and we can have a look and load straight away. That's what we want. We want you to say, let's watch this and let's do it. So finally, I'd like to uh, place a donation. And this is very simple with our website. All we do is donate, press the donate button. Let's make a one-off donation. So I put in all my details. Let's make a donation of $25 a month. As we can see, we've made the donation. So I'd like to say thank you for viewing this short tutorial slash website launch uh, briefing video. Uh, we'd love for you to explore the site. It's again at www.rals.org.au. If you have any questions, feel free to contact any of our staff. Uh, if you have any specific questions about the website, just let me know on uh, bharrell at rals.org.au. Thank you very much again, and uh, I hope you have a great day and enjoy the multitude of events we have in our winter program. Thank you very much.